Welcome back to Bugs, Buzz and Beyond. Today, we're diving into an exciting face-off between two of the most well-known insects in the wild, the praying mantis and the grasshopper. These two creatures may look somewhat similar at first glance. Long bodies, springy legs, and fast reflexes. But trust me, their worlds couldn't be more different. And don't forget, stick around until the end, because we have three fun trivia questions waiting for you. Our topic for today is Praying Mantis versus Grasshopper. When you hear the word grasshopper, the first image that comes to mind is usually a tiny green jumper hopping around fields. But when you hear praying mantis, you may picture a fierce, still, and mysterious insect with folded, praying arms. This comparison is interesting because although they sometimes live in the same environment, their lifestyles, behaviors, and survival strategies are complete opposites. Let's start with appearance. Grasshoppers usually have thick bodies, strong hind legs for jumping, and short, sturdy antennae. They're built like little athletes, muscular legs at the back, ready to launch into the air any time danger approaches. Praying mantises, on the other hand, have long, slender bodies, flexible necks, and extra-long antennae. But their most iconic feature? Those raptorial front legs, sharp, spiky forearms designed specifically for grabbing prey. They look like they're praying, but actually, they're waiting for their next victim. Next is movement. Grasshoppers are Olympic-level jumpers. In fact, many grasshopper species can leap 20 times their body length. That's like a human jumping the length of a basketball court without a running start. Their flight is also noisy and a bit chaotic, but effective enough to escape predators. Praying mantises move very differently. They're sneaky, slow, calculated. They rock back and forth like leaves swaying in the wind, blending in perfectly with the plants around them. They don't rely on speed. They rely on stealth. When they strike, it's lightning fast. Their reflexes are so quick that even high-speed cameras struggle to capture them in action. Now, let's go to diet. And this is where the biggest difference shows. Grasshoppers are gentle plant eaters. They feast on leaves, grasses, and crops. They're herbivores, meaning they get their energy from plants. Meanwhile, the praying mantis, a certified predator, a hunter, a carnivore. Mantises eat insects, spiders, flies, butterflies, moths, and sometimes even small reptiles or hummingbirds. Yes, you heard that right. Some species can catch and eat hummingbirds. Let's talk senses. Grasshoppers have good hearing. They actually hear through tiny membranes located on their abdomen. This helps them detect predators like birds or mice. But praying mantises? They have some of the most advanced vision 
among insects. They can see depth, track movement, and even turn their heads almost 180 degrees. Very few insects can move their heads like mammals, but mantises can. Their vision gives them an advantage in hunting and detecting threats. So, in a praying mantis versus grasshopper showdown, who wins? Honestly, it depends on the situation. But, if it ever came down to a direct encounter, the mantis would likely win. Not because it's bigger, but because it's built to hunt. Sharp arms, powerful reflexes, and excellent camouflage make it the natural predator of insects. And that's the beauty of nature. Every creature has its role. All right, let's see how much you learned. Here are three trivia questions. Ready? Let's get started. Question one. Which insect uses camouflage as its main survival strategy? A. Grasshopper B. Praying Mantis C. Both D. Butterfly Correct answer. B. Praying Mantis Praying Mantises rely heavily on camouflage because they are ambush predators. They blend into leaves and branches as they wait patiently for prey. Silence plus disguise equals survival. Question two. Which insect is a carnivore? A. Grasshopper. B. Praying mantis. C. Neither. D. Both. Correct answer. B. Praying Mantis. Grasshoppers are herbivores that munch on leaves, grass, and crops. Praying Mantises, however, are fierce carnivores, eating insects, spiders, and sometimes even tiny birds. Their strong front legs and sharp reflexes make them deadly hunters. Last question. What is one special ability that a praying mantis has that most insects do not? A. Jumping 20 times its body length. B. Turning its head almost 180 degrees. C. Hearing through its abdomen. D. Flying long distance. Correct answer. B. Turning its head almost 180 degrees. A mantis can rotate its head to scan surroundings. A rare insect ability that helps them track prey and predators. Grasshoppers excel in jumping and hearing, but that rotating head feature belongs to the mantis alone. And that wraps up our insect showdown. If you enjoy this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution.